Local, state, and federal law enforcement and security agencies are prepping for the possibility that former President Donald Trump will be indicted as early as tomorrow, according to five senior officials familiar with the preparations. This would be the first time in U.S. history an American president has been indicted for a crime. Mm. Uh, And this is all about the Stormy Daniels thing. And the hush money that he supposedly paid to her for, uh, what, $130,000, I think? And then she, she talked anyway. So, <laughs> I, I mean, uh, yeah, I mean, what and, a waste. And it's not even clear that campaign funds were even used uh, for any kind of payment to her. Right. So, right. I, I'm not sure if the statute of limitations actually may have already passed, too. But this is what you get with the Soros DA. Uh, you know, the last mm-hmm. DA didn't think that this was even worth pursuing. But, uh, you know, when you're a uh, Soros bankrolled district attorney and yep. you've got your marching orders and this is what you get. Yep. And they want to they want to mess up his presidential run. Yeah. And so they'll they'll try to stick him with anything if they possibly can. And, and they're going to try. So a lot of Trump supporters are asking Ron DeSantis to send the National Guard to Mar-a-Lago to protect Trump from the uh, authorities when they come. <laughs> I, I, I don't see him doing that, but we'll see. Huh. You think he would? Think he'd do that? Uh, Send the National Guard to Mar-a-Lago? Yeah. I don't see that happening. Uh, no, and and Trump would go to... I think Trump is going to... I don't know. He posted something on Truth Social where he's basically calling for protests yeah. around the country. Right. Um, I mean, that that feels like a big time no. Uh, mm-hmm. Especially after you see how the left deals with, with protests in this country from the right. Mm-hmm. Um, hmm. Don't think this is the, this is the time you want to be doing that. I'm sure there's going to be bigger issues uh, down the line. But yeah, this is not uh, not a good look. Yeah. Um, this this is clearly a political prosecution here. Yeah, and a lot of this seems to come from Michael Cohen, uh, Trump's former lawyer, who uh, pleaded guilty in 2018 to a federal charge relating to a $130,000 payment to Daniels. Uh, in the closing days of the campaign, Daniels has said the money was to keep her quiet about her claim. Then why didn't you keep quiet about your claim then? I, I don't even understand how that can happen. I mean, this happens every single time, it seems. Why are you even paying the hush money when it doesn't shut anybody up? <laughs> I know, <laughs> you know? Right? Yeah. Uh, it doesn't work. But keep your head about you uh, tomorrow. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Um, this is a political ambush uh, if mm-hmm. you go out there and show up, especially considering if you would be in Manhattan. Pro- you don't think that, that they're going to make an example of you mm. in a blue city or a blue state if you decide to protest? Even Marjorie Taylor Greene is saying, mm, nah, let's not do this. But if we want to talk about this double standard, this insanity of this double standard, there was a thing going around. And I, I had forgotten about this. I'm not even sure I ever knew it, but $219,000 fine um, for Joe Biden for his <laughs> um, uh, campaign missteps in 2008. Mm. So he um interesting. Yeah, yeah. And he wasn't mm. arrested? No. Right? I mean, he Well, and look what's going on right now with him and the payments from uh the Chinese energy company. Oh, yes. Of a million dollars it was dispersed throughout his family. Mm. Are you kidding me? Look into that. I, I'm telling you. Let's the, prosecute that. And that's the enraging part is the political double standard in this country. Yeah. Oh, my God. It's gosh. absolute madness. Now, a lot of people think that uh, there's two schools of thought uh, on the right uh, as this story was unfolding over the weekend. And and part of it was, OK, well, this is making Trump invincible to uh, mm. to any kind of primary challenge now. On the Republican mm, side, I don't know. The about others that. is uh, the other school of thought is that okay, well, first Trump, and then they come after DeSantis on something, yeah. and they're just going to take out the Republicans one by one. I don't know. I, honestly, I, I think everything in this nation now is unpredictable. So sure is. Who knows which way this goes? Uh, but the district attorney now has a lot to think about uh, after Trump uh, posted on Truth Social. Um, you know, now the pressure's on them, you know, so we'll see. Hmm. Uh, 
it's uh, it's a mess. This country is a banana republic, and uh, uh, getting more so every day. Yeah, I, I love this fun fact though. Um, that Greg Price put out uh, in 2022, Manhattan District Attorney Alvin Bragg reduced uh, uh, 52% of all felony charges to a misdemeanor. Now he's elevating a misdemeanor to a felony that the feds refuse to prosecute uh, to indict uh, President Trump. Um, so yeah, criminals roam free. He says political opponents go to jail. Third world country. Absolutely. I mean, that sums it up beautifully. Uh, Speaker Kevin McCarthy tweeted out, Here we go again. An outrageous abuse of power uh, by a radical DA mm -hmm. who uh, who lets violent criminals oh, yeah. there you go. walk, of course, as he pursues political vengeance against President Trump. So... Uh, a really good point, and that's exactly uh, what's what's going on here. I mean, remember George Soros had the uh, SOS project, <clears throat> Secretary of State, which was brilliant. Get sure was left leaning, sympathetic uh, secretaries of state in. It's worked out pretty well. Yeah. For so him. when elections happen, I yeah. mean, we we saw clear as day in 2020. Um, you can mm. really affect that. Well, he's done the same with district attorneys and funding right. those. I mean, right. Run for local office. I mean, yeah. they've done this brilliantly. Yep. The the takeover of of key positions in the United States, the takeover of the education system, mm -hmm. the takeover of Hollywood, which used to be, uh, people don't remember this very well, but it used to be pretty conservative in Hollywood. They were mostly Republicans. Uh, remember the, uh, there's a, in fact, there's a joke that somebody did, uh, was it, uh, I can't remember who the comedian was, but in one of the movies, it's like they're they're joking about there not being any Democrats around. Oh, Bob Hope. It was Bob Hope. Yeah, mm -hmm. yes, it was Bob Hope. And and now you look at it, and there's almost no Republicans in Hollywood now. Very few. They're an endangered species. So they've taken over the education uh, system in this country. They've taken over Hollywood. They they they've taken over. Uh, Music, the music industry, pretty well saturated with progressives. Uh, what remains? Then, then of course, Soros decided, hey, you know what? What if we get attorneys general all throughout the country? Um, because when there's a problem with the election, who takes care of that? Secretary of State, yeah. And the DAs, as you just mentioned. Mm -hmm. I mean, I don't know. It's uh, It's... It's been a brilliant effort over the last 100, 110 years or so. And uh, here we are now. And it's maddening. Wishing we would have stopped it somewhere along the way, and we didn't. Yeah, and it's so frustrating when uh, I saw a thing going around how, you know, they, they don't go after Joe Biden. They don't go after crackhead Hunter Biden. Mm -hmm. They don't go after the Clintons. They don't go after <clears throat> Pelosi and insider trading. They don't go after the Epstein clients. No, they go after the one guy who promised to expose them all. And that's so true. And, and it sucks. Mm -hmm. uh, just the, the, there are, and you see it with the January 6th political prisoners, quite frankly. I mean, we are now what we have spent decades accusing other countries of being. Of throwing away, you know, mm -hmm. your political prisoners in jail, going after old rivals, going after past presidents and stuff. I mean, this is yep, this is not healthy. I will say though that um, Donald Trump did dodge a bullet uh, in the 2024 uh, primary over the weekend. Uh, Maryland Governor, uh, former uh, Larry Hogan, has decided actually he's going to drop out of the race, which I know you thought was, uh, I mean, the Larry Hogan 2024 campaign right the uh oh, yeah. former maryland governor oh i mean he had the inside track right <laughs> right who who honestly <laughs> who, who who drops their candidacy before even the election year begins and before anybody even knew you were in it I, I, oh, oh, oh wait larry hogan was in this <laughs> who i'm sorry who i think that's what awesome. does he do when, when is that hulk hogan's brother <laughs> was he in the uh, wwe how, how sad is that like <laughs> The really only, only way people know that you were running is because now you've said you're not going to run anymore. <laughs> so sad, right?